Why do I get out of Baca? <sighs> wow. The knowledge knowing that I've done something that no one else can do. And that's to give a child their life back. Baca is probably the only organization that can do what it does that exists in the world right now. The goal of Baca is eventually to break the chains of child abuse. So that these children don't grow up and bring what happened to them into their relationships. First found out about Baca through my counselor. And she said that we should look into this, that Baca was a group of bikers who help and they support kids who have been abused. Before the abuse, I do remember like a happy, just normal life. Rhythm was very carefree. She was loving and fun. When I told my mom, she talked to me for about an hour. She came in and she said, I'm being abused and I, I want you to know I, I don't want it to happen anymore. I want it to stop. My extended family didn't think my story was true. They thought a lot of it was made up. I had night terrors. I was seeing like two, three counselors. That was partially why my counselor informed us about Baca. Level one is the first interaction that the child's going to have with the entire chapter. It's where we bring that child in and make them part of our biker family. Leading up to the night of my level one, I was kind of like not sure what to expect. All I knew is that there was going to be a lot of bikers at my house in the morning. Yeah, when a child's been brought into Baca, and uh, we decided that it's a case that, that fits our mission, we as the chapter as a whole will ride off to wherever the child feels safe at to meet. That means the whole chapter goes, or everybody's had a background check or bride. There's a little bit of a ceremony that goes on with it. The child's reminded about the initial contact where everything is explained to them, what Baca is, what we do, what we don't do. We present them with a vest and it has a patch on the back of it and their road name, and it just makes them feel part of it. They get assigned two of the, the members as primaries. Those members are on call for that child 24-7 around the clock. Peppermint, would you like to meet your primaries now? We have Rembrandt and Lucy. Rembrandt and Lucy have always been here for me, and Alpaca will always be here for you. Hi, Peppermint. I'm Lucy. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Peppermint. I'm Rembrandt. It's nice to meet you. Seeing this like group of adults, bikers, like being so kind, not even bringing up what happened to me, just saying like, hey, we're here for you, like we're your new family. It meant the world to me. The level one is probably something that is the most empowering part of what we do because we see a huge change in these children. After about 40, 45 minutes, those kids are interacting with our members. In some areas, they go for rides with the membership. They take them on a short ride around the neighborhood. They looked at her like she was just another amazing young kid. It's just, it was just there just to empower them, to show them that there's people out there that really care about them and that, that they're becoming part of our family. And then when they become part of our family, that we have their backs. When there's a court case, if the judge allows us, we will escort that child to the courthouse. A lot of times when kids go to court, the family members of the perpetrator will show up and they try to intimidate that child. Carry me home when the light in my eyes does fade. Carry me home when the shadow comes to take me away.
you're not? My friends are a lot scarier than he is. I see these kids, the, the light come back into their eyes. Um, I get more out of Baca than I could ever put in. Standing up for child abuse is probably one of the bravest things somebody can do. You, you see them after we get involved and their, their self-confidence is beaming. They're, they're doing better in school and you know they're not afraid anymore. And that's what we do, we give them their life back. I grew as an individual. I joined clubs in high school. I became um, varsity captain of the cheer team. I was a vice president. I, I'm going to college. I owe that to every single person in my life, especially Baca, who stood by me and who supported me and said, it's okay to be scared. We're here for you until you're not. Nobody gets paid in Baca. Everybody's volunteer from the president down. We, my brothers and sisters, will do whatever we can to make sure that they feel safe. And when we do that, they can trust again and they can start being kids again. That's what I get out of it. Everything on this patch means something. The white is the innocence of the child. The red is the blood that's been shed. The black represents the dark times that that child is going through. The skull and crossbones is death to child abuse. The fist our commitment to fight child abuse. And the chains on this patch stands for one Baca, one United Nation. This patch means everything to me. This is my family. If you are being abused, if you are scared, tell somebody.